Hey y'all, it's your girl Tishonda Renee. I'm back with another video. Um, today I'm sharing with you a recipe that I found here on YouTube. It's a recipe for apple pie biscuits. And I found this, um, like I said, here on YouTube um, from Andrea at Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Um, it really looked good on her video, so I wanted to give it a try. So if you would like to see how I do it, please stay tuned. So the first thing you want to do is um, spray your pan down. Um, she recommends using a cast iron skillet, I believe. But I'm going to be taking these on a road trip with me to my brother's house. So I put them in an aluminum pan and sprayed it down with a pan spray. I'm going to place my biscuits in the pan and I have, I'm using nine frozen biscuits. Um, they, they actually were still frozen, so I did let them sit out in the pan for a while to unthaw. And while I'm waiting on the biscuits to thaw, I'm going to go ahead and melt one stick of butter. In her recipe, she did use unsalted butter. I didn't have unsalted butter, so I did use salted butter. Next, in a separate bowl, I'm going to add my brown sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg. The recipe calls for one teaspoon of cinnamon and one teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm not a huge fan of cinnamon, so I did kind of cut back the cinnamon. And now uh, once you have that all in a bowl, you just want to mix it together well. Be sure to check out my description box. I'll be sure to have all the ingredients and measurements listed there. And now to a separate bowl, you want to add your canned apple pie filling. I did decide to go ahead and add some vanilla to my apples. So you will see me do that here. Although you didn't see the vanilla in the beginning of the video. Um, I hadn't decided to add it at that point. Also, in Andrea's video, she did cut up her apples, and I totally forgot to do that. Um, so if you decide to make this, go ahead and cut the apples up before you add them to your dish. Your next step is to dip your biscuits into the butter, and then dredge them through the sugar mixture, and then add back to the pan. Your oven should be preheating to 350 degrees. The next step is to add the apples to the pan and you can put them on top or just kind of in the in between the biscuits like I did. The apples being in smaller pieces would have definitely helped. Um, so don't forget to cut those apples up. Next, I'm going to sprinkle the remaining sugar mixture on top. And then I'm going to pour the remaining butter on top. Next, you want to go ahead and place your pan in the oven uncovered and you want to bake this for about 40 to 45 minutes or until those biscuits have turned a golden brown color. 
while we're waiting on the um, biscuits to bake I'm gonna go ahead and make the icing I'm starting with one cup of powdered sugar and two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream the original recipe called for half and half I think the heavy whipping cream is much thicker so I did have to use a lot more than two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream I also decided to add vanilla to the icing as well. I didn't add much, just a, about a half teaspoon. And this is what the biscuits look like when they came out of the oven. And now while the biscuits are still hot, I'm going to go ahead and put the icing on top. And that is it. That is the recipe. It is very, very simple. I'll be sure to link Andrea's video down below in the description box as well if you would like to check that out. And stay tuned for my family's reaction to these apple pie biscuits at the end of this video. If you have not already done so, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Biscuits and syrup, apples. It's good. It's good. It's good. It is good. It is good. Oh my God! Good. Now leave our reaction. Right? Right?